In this video, I'm going to compare Name Hero versus Sideground. So before we start, I want to say I'm not paid by Name Hero. I'm also not paid by Sideground. This is just my honest opinion about these two companies. So I'm going to compare the main similarities and the main differences both of the platforms have to each other. Uh, so let's start with that WordPress websites are about 30% of all the websites out there. This, so the chances are high that you want to create your website with WordPress. So that's what we are going to focus on in this video, WordPress hosting. On Name Hero, you can see, I like this banner here. It's a very easy website and it's, it's just, the simplicity is very high. Also on SiteGround, you can see the simplicity is very high and I like that. I like it when websites are really easy. So on Name Hero, we go to the web hosting and you can see all the available web hostings here. So we want to go to the normal web hosting here for WordPress and other hostings. So if we see here, they have four plans. On SiteGround, you can see that there are also multiple categories of web hosting, normal reliable web hosting, WordPress hosting, WooCommerce hosting, and cloud hosting. So VPS and cloud hosting, we are not going to dive deep into that right now. We are going to focus on WordPress hosting for this video because this isn't really relevant. So the WooCommerce hosting and WordPress hosting is nearly the same. WooCommerce hosting is a bit more targeted to um, online stores and stuff like that, but you can also do that with WordPress hosting. That's not a problem. So we are going to hit get started for WordPress hosting. Here you can see they have three plans. The startup plan for four euros a month, which is about five to six dollars every month. So for this, you get one website with 10 gigabytes of web space. 10,000 approximate visits monthly, that's what it can handle. But trust me, it can handle way more than this, around 50K without any problem. Um, then we have a free SSL, free emails and all these stuff like that, which is really nice. If we go to Name Hero again, here's the starter cloud, ideal for beginners at personal websites. So that's, that's great. If you want to create a simple website or simple store, uh, you get one website, one gigabyte of RAM, unlimited SSD storage, and this is what I like about Name Hero. Whatever plan you choose, you get unlimited amount of SSD storage. And here on um, SiteGround here, you it is a little bit limited, but still, 10 gigabytes is more than enough. You're not you're not going to need anything more than 10 gigabytes, especially if you're just starting out. You get a free SSL, uh, free website migration, all that stuff. And if you can, as you can see here, it's really similar to SiteGround. You also have the a plan more expensive, which is Plus Cloud. You can get seven websites, two gigabytes of RAM, etc., etc. But the Grow Big plan is a little bit, um, yes, a little bit more expensive. The Namecheap hostings are really, really uh, cheap, as you can see. But the SiteGround hosting is better and a little bit more expensive and the reason why i like grow big and why i like SiteGround is why i like SiteGround. it has one of the best servers of all web host companies out there on the world it has a lot of servers it is really good and it has not a lot of downtime uh, it has a lot of uptime if you don't know what that is uptime is basically when the website is running it's running like normal um, visitors can buy stuff if you have an online store they can scroll through blogs and stuff like that if your website is down that means your website is not online there isn't that's due to technical issues or mechanical issues on the servers of the hosting company and I like SiteGround because it's nearly ever never has problems with these servers service which means if you create an online store SiteGround is really good because it has a lot of uptime if you have a personal website just an about page stuff like that it's not really important that still yeah you need a lot of uptime but the uptime of SiteGround is much much better than name hero so the hosting quality is way better for SiteGround it's also a little bit more expensive but it's better so why I like this plan Unlimited websites, you can create up to, yeah, unlimited websites, 50 million if you want. So, of course, you're not going to do that, but it, it is possible. 20 gigabytes of web space, more than enough. 25,000 visits monthly can be way more than this, uh, uh, really way more. 
Uh, it's not 25,000. I think it can be 200,000 easily. And all this stuff that you get here as well. So, also the SiteGround hosting is super, super good because of their customer service. Almost every customer service of any web hosting company is just really bad. But this SiteGround one is cram de la cram. Nothing is better than SiteGround in customer service. I had a problem installing WordPress last time I bought the startup plan and I couldn't find anything on internet. So I contact them via live chat and they were always happy to help. However, the name, name hero one is not really good. It's bad. Just average like every single hosting company has very, very bad um, customer service except for SiteGround and host Papa, but that's not in this video. Um, so which one would I recommend? If you want to create a store, an e-commerce store, something like that, go for the grow big plan. It's just a little bit more than the startup plan. You can make unlimited websites, all that stuff, and it's super good, very high quality hosting. I also have a link in the description. You can just get it from there with a small discount. But if you think Name Hero is better, you want to go for that. It's still Name Hero is a great company. It is a big company, and if they had very bad... Um, if they had very bad services, it wouldn't be so popular. So Name Hero is also a decent choice. Now we head over to the domains. So Name Hero also has domains. We can go to it right here. And we are going to see what the price is. Because I can say SiteGround doesn't offer domains. So you always have to connect an external domain to SiteGround, which isn't a problem. They make it very easy. They're targeting beginners. So on their platform, it's really easy to do that. But on Name Hero, you can do that. So we are going to test it. Um, this domain .com, and this is the price, 13 US dollars. Check out. Um, so this is it. Where is the price? Let's continue. Uh, no, this is not the price. Remove. We got to remove this one. Yeah, there we go. 13 US dollars for a domain, which is not a lot. It's very cheap on Name Hero. And the combination between SiteGround and Name Hero would be actually excellent. You can buy a domain for very cheap on Name Hero, host it with very good SiteGround hosting, and that will be an amazing duo. So that's what I would recommend. Now to the payment methods. I like Name Hero in this because they accept credit card, PayPal, payment, uh, payments through Coinbase with uh, cryptocurrency and also credit card via Stripe. So that I accept cryptocurrency, I really like that. Again, it's not really necessary, but SiteGround doesn't do that. Only credit card and PayPal, but you're probably going to pay with a credit card, so it's not really a big of a deal. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe, and see you next time. Have a good day.